Hi, and welcome back to the CG Bros. This is Brother Damien, and in this session, we're going to take some assets that we have in Maya and bring them into the Unity game engine. Now, I'm going to assume that you've already got Maya and Unity installed in your system, so let's go ahead and bring up Maya with the scene we'll be using and get started. Now, this scene is made up of a couple textured meshes that I got from www.3d-source.com. Now, these are really nice because they have the textures, including color, specular, and normal maps applied to them already. Now you want to be sure that you use normal maps for getting the high levels of detail and realism demanded by both gamers and the industry today. Now exchanging data assets between Maya and Unity is a relatively straightforward process because Unity can read in both Maya files and FBX files, meaning that you can use your Maya files directly as long as they're saved out in the MV format, or you can export your Maya file as an FBX and bring that into the Unity game engine. Now using Maya's native.mv format is the easiest way because it's literally automatic. So let's go ahead and load up Unity. Now in order for Unity to have access to the models you create in Maya, the file needs to be saved into or underneath the Unity Projects Assets folder. Now the project window here is an internal view of the folders on your hard drive. And these folders will contain all the assets that you use to build your game. Animations, scripts, prefabs, textures, audio, and more. Now something I really like about Unity is that it allows you to keep your assets organized in a way that makes sense to you and doesn't force you to use rigid, complex folder structures. So you can keep it as simple or as complex as you need it to be. Alright, let's create a folder in the project window and name it Assets, and another underneath it and name it Maya Assets, or whatever is meaningful to you. You can create subfolders or subcategories if you want to here. Alright, let's jump back to Maya real quick. Now without anything selected, let's go up to the file, save as, and select the options box and come over to be sure that it's set to .mv and hit save scene as, name the file and save our file to the Maya assets folder we just created under our Unity Projects asset folder. I'll call mine creates one. Alright, going back to Unity, we can see that under the hood, Unity is automatically reading in our file and translating it into FBX formatted data stream that it natively understands. Now every time you save an asset out into or underneath the Unity Project's asset folder, Unity will automatically update itself to reflect the new assets that were added. We can also bring our assets in by coming up here to the Asset menu and down to Import New Asset. We can also right-click down here into the Project window and select Import New Asset as well, and navigate to our Maya, FBX, WAV file, or other asset. Now there's a fancier way to bring in your assets. And that's by dragging and dropping the file from the file manager directly into the project window. Now, the main reason for doing this might be to bring in a whole host of assets all at once. Now I don't really recommend doing this because I've seen people going crazy dragging things in and deleting them out and their files and linkages would occasionally break. And if you put your time, hard work, and passion into creating these assets and hooking them in, I just say, you know, do this at your own risk and don't say I didn't tell you. Now by being able to use the original Maya file, this gives us the advantage of avoiding the step of having to keep exporting and updating a separate FBX file. Now depending on the complexity of the meshes in the Maya file we're bringing over, the time it takes to actually do the conversion process can take several minutes, so be patient if it doesn't come up right away. Okay, so we can see that our file is now located under the Maya Assets folder. Now to get our geometry asset into our Unity scene, we simply drag and drop the asset into the hierarchy panel. or we can place it in by dragging and dropping it into the scene view. So by selecting the move tool, we can move our mesh around. Or we can rotate it with the rotate tool. Or scale it with the scale tool. And by holding down the control button while we move, rotate, and scale our objects, we can snap them to defined increments. You can pan around your scene view and objects using the pan tool and dolly in and out with the middle mouse scroller. Or you can hold down the alt key and using the left mouse button you can orbit around your scene and objects and using the right mouse button you can dolly in and out. Now if you've lost track of something in your scene or you just want to focus in on an object in your scene, select it in the hierarchy window and by hitting the F key on the keyboard it zooms it in. Or you can simply double click on it in the hierarchy window check out some of our other sessions on Unity game development where you'll learn to navigate settings in the inspector window. 
how to create and place game objects such as lights, cameras, and particle systems, how to add components to your game objects, how to create and use prefabs, and much, much more. There's a lot to learn, so we'll see you then.